Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to share with you uh, how to use uh, only one single button, tactile button, but we will use it for two different functions. Okay, so these two different functions will be activated either the first one will be <clears throat> activated by normal click or normal press. The second one will be activated after we hold for a certain time. In this tutorial, uh, I will use the same code that I, uh, I wrote in the previous video, but I will add some uh, functions to, to, to handle the, 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 the two functions of the uh, button. Okay, so first time, uh, first thing I need to declare these four new variables, which is button timer equal to zero and long press time. This long press time, it's the time that will be determined the, the, the duration of the hold. How, uh, how long you wanna hold the button, then it will be activated the second function. It will be stored here. Okay, this one is milliseconds, so 3,000 milliseconds means about three seconds. Okay, then we need two boolean, one to store the button active, false, and long press active, also false. Okay, and this one, again, same like previous video, this one just to store the, the LED pin out. I have eight LED to display the, the address of the uh, sensor node. Okay, and here, pin number 15 or A1, is my input connected to, which is the tactile button. Okay, and here uh, an address of 74. Uh, later I'll, I'll use this to display on the uh, LEDs. Okay, in the setup I loop through the the, the pin out that I declare here, two, three, four, and ten. <clears throat> I declare as output, and my input, which is pin. 15 or A1, I declared as input with pull up resistor. Okay, in the loop, I call this new function, which is button press. Okay, now we can see what this button do. This, this function actually is here. This is the button press. This is the one that will be handle the fast press and the hold function for the tactile button okay first of all in the function i will check whether the button is pressed or no okay since i already declare as input would pull up so it means when the the button is pressed the reading the digital read will be inverted or will be uh, zero okay that's why it will be not digital read of in if this is true it will come into this function okay so first of all after i come to this function it will check if the button is not active this is true why because we already declare here button active is false if button active is false this means this one is true. When this is true, it will uh, sw not swap, but will change the, the uh, will change the the button active from false to true. So this one will not be activated again. Then we'll calculate the time that you press the button. Okay, it will take the time or take the current time uh, and then after this then we'll come here it will check if the time minus the button timer is more than the long press time this is the long press time we already declare here is about three second three thousand millisecond okay if the current time minus the button timer which is we already assigned here is more than more than the the, the the time that we assigned beforehand at the same time the long press active is invert or it's it's false okay 
which is also false. We already declared here it's false. Long price active is false. So this one is true. This is true. But we will wait for this. If this one is being hold, the button is being hold, I mean this one will keep counting, counting, counting. And if this one will be more than for this one, this this part will be more than the long press time, all this condition will be true. Okay, when this one will be true, it means the button is already been pressed for long time or more than three seconds. Then it will come to execute this code. This code will be executed for the long time press or for the hold. Okay. First of all, we will uh, flip the long press active to true, so not come here again. Then will it will execute our code, which is here. This code is just a simple code. I will loop from zero to seven. Okay, and from this one, this actually is the array, my output, my, my pin uh, output, okay? Uh, I will just turn it on and turn off uh, simultaneously, okay? This is for the hold. Else, if not hold, as we, as we say at the beginning, this one will give me two functions, either hold or just a normal click. If not hold, it means the time is not enough to be more than the long press, so it means it's just a normal click. <clears throat> Sorry. So if it's a normal click, then it will come to execute here. First, it will check the button should be active. Button active because already we change here. We change to true. This means we click it. If it's not clicked, it will not come here anymore. So it means this one should be true. And after this, we'll check the long press also should be true. Okay, so now uh, when this one also true, it will flip to false and exit this code. This one, so it will not be executed. Why? Because if this it doesn't execute, let's say here, let's say here, you are not pressed for long enough more than the long press time. I say here we said for three seconds, but we press only for two seconds or only one second or even less. So long press active will be false, not true, because this code will not be executed. Okay, this one will not be executed if we didn't press more than three seconds. So the long press active will be maintained as a false. So this code here will not be executed, will come to here which is the execute for the short press. It means less than the, uh, the hold period, which is three seconds. Okay, here, uh, again, I use a, a binary array of eight elements, so eight positions. And I use this function that I already explained in details in the previous video. This function, it will be converting a decimal number into a binary. The decimal number is the address that I already declared here, 74, and convert it, <clears throat> convert it into an array of binaries. And also, I use this function to display this binary into the uh, LEDs, the eight LEDs. Okay? And that's all. After it will be hold. So this one will be executed if you didn't hold for for three seconds, and then it will uh, reset the button active to false and exit the function. Okay, so this is the function that is used to to give you two functionality of the one single button, one for the fast press or just a normal press, and second is if you hold it for a certain for a certain period that we declare at the beginning we declare it here okay and for this function which is convert from decimal to binary is here this one i already explained uh, in details in the previous video okay we take three arguments or three parameter which is a decimal and the binary and it will calculate the 
2 to the power of i which start from 7 to 0 and we check if it's uh, less of the current decimal blah 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 this one all is explained in details in the previous video if you need more information about this please uh, consider the, the previous video to understand more about this okay so we finish this code let's upload and we see how it works okay it's uploading now and it's done so let's change to another camera and see how it works on the uh, breadboard okay guys we have changed to the second camera so as we can see here this is our main MCU Arduino Uno and these are eight LEDs eight resistors and also this is our single input with the filter circuit okay so now when I press this button for once it will display the the 74 uh, the 74 address then it will be uh, turn off it will be hold the address for about a few seconds then off okay if you notice now I just press one press okay one press but if I press and hold about three seconds boom see it will display something else if I press and hold see I'm holding now see it will display something else but if I press just single press it will show me the uh, the first function or the first uh, code which is the display the, the address of 74 okay but if I press and hold for about three seconds boom it will show me the other function but even though if I press for less than three seconds let's say one two see to show me only this again only if you go more than three seconds press one two three boom okay so i hope you have learned something from this video thank you very much for your listening and hope to see you again for the new video